All right, well, I just shot this whole video and it was out of focus, so pray to God it's in fo focus. Damn it, where are my new pets? Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> What's going on, it's Grant, and uh, today I'm going to talk about knee pads. So today I'm going to be talking about three knee pads that I've had experience with personally. One of which that I've been riding for about two years, and the other two which I've only skated one time. So the first one that I've been skating for about two years are the Smith Scabs. This is a size large. I'm a, rel Fucking hell. I'm a relatively slim guy about... It. Six foot, these fit me perfectly. One thing that I like about these are the butterfly straps in the back. That means there's no little sleeve to slide your whole leg through. Keep your shoes on when you put these on. Very easy to put on. They're just kind of fold like so. Um, and they got the big strap around the top like so. These work really well, they stay really snug. I've worn these a lot so they're very broken in. Um, so next two points about these pads. Uh, first, the, the, the side padding. Um, doesn't actually go all the way to the edge of the pad. I've hit my, my, the side of my knee on, on stuff before and it sucks. Um, so I wish there was a little bit more there. Actually, in the next generation of this pad, they put more foam there and um, also fixed my next point being that this knee pad has uh, a cap that is riveted on. This means it's not really replaceable, which for me, someone who actually cracked theirs, kind of sucks. Um, Again, in the next version of the scabs, they actually have replaceable caps, figures. Um, so, impressions of this pad, very comfortable. Um, it did the job. Wish it had a replaceable cap, but overall, you know, it's a good, it's a good knee pad. Poor boy, pros, focus. Yeah, there we go. Same kind of strapping system, butterfly, super convenient. Uh, one thing to be noted is it does have this fabric. It's, it says Cool Max on the inside. I'm assuming, and I've experienced, that it is to keep your leg cool. Um, let some air circulate through there. One thing that I really like is the padding goes all the way to the edge of the knee pad, meaning that can't really hit the side of your knee very easily. Um, it does have replaceable caps, velcroed on. One thing I did not like is the shape of the caps. However, they're very flat on the top. Don't really, don't really curve at all. Personal preference. Very comfortable pad. I believe these are size large. Yes, size large. I'm a pretty skinny guy. Uh, they were very snug on me. That being said, them being snug does not mean that you should get an extra large if you're slim like me. They fit very, very well. <laughs> Next pad, 187 Killer Pros. Um, I've seen a lot of people wear these pads, a lot of pros wear these pads, and I love them. Um, padding on the side goes all the way to the, there's the most padding I've seen go all the way to the side. Um, does have butterfly straps and it does have similarly to the poor boys a mesh or not mesh fabric on the inside um, got some air circulation when I first put these on I was like I was like uh, I thought that um, they stuck out too far and they do stick out a little bit more than I'm used to um, but after about five minutes I, I didn't notice them at all. Caps replaceable, Velcro, very nice shape of the cap as opposed to the flat poor boys. You know, overall, like for one session, good pad. Uh, so yeah, that's been 
my like little review slash first impression of three three knee pads. I have some footage that I shot a couple days ago at Rye Airfield in New Hampshire of me skating with the 187s. So this video was a real excuse to just put those on my YouTube channel. So yeah, enjoy those. I learned rock to fakies on like a seven foot transition, which is really scary. So yeah, it's been great. Later.